Peace, Deep Minds. 255 here. What up? Looking at this Ralph and Clark trailer. Both look like they're brawler slash grappler types of characters. Very interesting and unique design. I played with both characters before. It's been a while. I really like uh, Clark more. He kind of reminds me of King from Tekken. And that he has these multiple grabs. You think the combo should be over. It's not. He can keep grabbing you. Like you see right there. He attacks you. I, I love that. And you see he did that, that little hop step. Yeah. I think that little hop step is like maybe be an uh, evasive maneuver. I don't know if it's good up to go over slows. Or if he's just completely invincible toward it. But I, I like it. It makes for a good gimmick. And he's got that strike there. Okay. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure if that's a super. It looks like it's definitely a super. That could be followed up by another super. I would hate to think that this is a EX move. But I'm hoping that's a... All right, so maybe we can look at Ralph now. Okay. Probably Frank Dean is a little bit slower because they're brawler characters. I could be wrong. But typically, that's what's happening with our brawler characters. If they're trying to make Ralph look good, they are not... Uh, Everything in this trailer says pick Clark right now. I mean, I don't think you can disagree. Mm. Nice. Mm. Yeah, so Clark definitely looks like more of the grappler type than uh, Ralph is. When I said that he reminded me of King, what I had reference to was his ability to continue to grab after a move. They're nowhere near as, uh, at least for this trailer, nowhere near as intricate or complex or as long going as King's, but certainly you, you get the idea. A Ralph here. Okay, those look like two mediums and so maybe it was a, a two hit super uppercut. Just jabbed out there. Looks like he has some type of power break move. I don't know if that elbow crosses that you saw at the beginning there. It probably was as heavy that jumping double leg kick. Well, let's take a look at uh, his next set of offense. That elbow, I feel pretty confident that that's probably, um, this maybe that's his crossover. Maybe that's why they keep showing up. Yeah, that's a nice super move. He does a flip kick. That can probably work as a good anti-air. And it goes into what looks to be maybe his level one super. And I remember that from the, the old games as well. I wonder why they chose to have Clark beat Ralph's behind. It was like more of an equal distribution of their moves. Maybe Ralph's a more popular character. And we'll go back to looking at Clark's moves in a second. Let's take another look at Ralph's. That knee looks serious. Sort of that's medium hard or light. Now that looked like, okay, okay. That looked like he punched, kicked, Canceled, went into the kick again, and then went into that EX Super into his level one. I'm pretty sure that's just what I saw. I'm guessing that's what you saw too. Hold on. Yep, there's the elbow. That looks like a pretty good one. Now watch him go for this knee. He's gonna hit him with a. That looks like some type of cancel. He goes for another kick. Yep, right into his. Uh, looks like an EX move or Super. Oh, that was, a, that was a punch. Then he went to the flip. I didn't even pick that up. That's a nice connected combo. I mean, okay. Kind of like uh, Guilty Gear's Roman cancel. That might be disrespectful to SNK. They were here before Guilty Gear. Uh, at least I think so. Let me know in a section. But um, yeah, I would have I hoped that they would have showed more Ralph's moves, but this works so far. All right, let's, let's take a look to see it. what else I missed from Clark. All right, so let's take a look here. That looks like a parry. Yep, another one. Put some in a crumple state. Both characters have that. Maybe that's a universal mechanic, I'm not sure. But it seems like both characters have the ability to crumple you. But Clark seems the one that can go into combos and then combo into his, his daggone throw. Punch, kick, and then go into a throw. I love it. It's original. Follow up our ground attack. Alright, does it jump in? This is probably his hard. Maybe medium. Hard. Okay, that's a two down. I'm wondering if that's an overhead. Probably is. Alright, and 
And now for my tire um, guess. Number one, big characters typically aren't uh, champions. Look at how buffed Abigail was in Street Fighter V. Um, don't think he was an evil champ. You had Sagat, but Sagat's not your traditional big guy. He's more of a long-range character. Look at Zangief. Um, Brawly, even, from the first two seasons of Dragon Ball Fighters, just got picked on and beat up. He's finally seen some prominence in Season 3 because they got rid of Fuzzies. And look at Naka. Sorry, I don't know his name. The vampire, the black vampire with the sword and blood gauge. They, they <laughs> left it already, put him, like, in C. And uh, another, I forgot, another uh, YouTuber also talked about it as well. I mean, so typically buff characters don't really do that well as far as top time championships. I know uh, Birdie was doing pretty good in Street Fighter Five for a while. So as these two characters are concerned, Ralph and Clark. Right now, <laughs> looking at this trailer, you'd be insane to say that um, Clark doesn't seem to be the better character just based on the amount of different options he has to combo. That being said, it may all come down to what? Frame data. It doesn't really matter if the character has a bunch of flashy supers that he can connect to. Question is, can you hit him? Uh, can you interrupt some character's block stream or frame data trap? Do you have good anti-airs? That's what it's gonna really come down to. So Clark may have all that fancy stuff, but in the end, if his frame data is too slow, then so goes that. So my guess is they're probably not. Maybe Clark, depending on how damaging his moves are, looks like he can be top tier. Ralph, I don't. Compared to the other trailers, I don't see what Ralph is bringing to the table. Just looking at this trailer. Obviously, this is just a guess, but yeah. Anyway, so that's my tire prediction. Clark has the ability to be a uh, top tire, depending on how damaging these combos and moves are his. And Ralph looks like he's gonna be, you know, bottom bar. Who knows? Anyway, this is Deep Mind 255. Out.